Go to the tail of the tape for this one, the co-main event of the night here in the Peony Agrodome, Vancouver, British Columbia, World Series of Fighting 7, 29-27. Both men stand six feet tall, no reach advantage. This should be a good one. Fighter ready. Fighter ready. Fighter ready. Fight! I've been waiting a long time for this. I say, these guys have been building up for this one since June of last year when they started the preparation. And it's Taylor the first to attempt the takedown. Yeah, and being the good wrestler that he is, he's probably going to get it. Can he keep it down there, though? And can he keep his opponent out of his guard? Because Mutapcic has a great ground game, but he needs you in the guard for that. It almost goes right to the mount. Yeah, that is uh, insane. Without you should really do this. Yes, get up. Get up without giving up your back and exposing your neck because Jesse Taylor comes out all business in the first 45 seconds of this one, scheduled for three. Yep, and uh, they mentioned that 14 submission victories he has. Then on the other hand, he has a bunch of losses also by submission. So uh, I think for a wrestler, he works the best from top. And if he, uh, right now, he has the biggest chance to go for a submission. Elvis well, Mutopcic in a little bit of trouble here early on in round number one, but it's last loss when you consider this coming to June 25th of 2011. He's trying to go for the rear naked there. He's not really behind him, so Mutopcic can simply skip the hips to the side as he does now. You know, put an angle on him so he can go around. And by the way, you see this with more wrestlers. They're really good from the top, but yeah. once they're put on the back, they kind of never expected it. A fish out of water, and then it goes like, oh, wait a minute, what's going on? Watch your neck, Elvis. Hey, watch well, your I'll neck. tell you what, Jesse Taylor is just throwing everything at him. He is fishing for a submission any yep. way he can get it. But he can, because um, Mutapjic works a really great angle on him the whole time. So he, he can't really do the guillotine from the front if he's not in front of you. And a uh, rear naked choke, not from the back if he's not right back at you. So the top just right now looked to be in a really bad situation, making the best of a bad deal, using the cage possibly as a little bit of defense because Taylor cannot get around him, as you pointed out, boss. Yep. So he's kind of at an angle on that choke and just not working, but he is staying active. He's staying active, and I thought he was maybe going to switch it into a neck crank there, Taylor, but he didn't. Co-main event of the night, Todd Harris, boss, rooting with you. Glad to have you with us here as the World Series of Fighting goes international here at WSOF 7 from the p and &E Agridome in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Now, this is the best thing that Mutapcic can do. Put him in the guard. Don't play an open guard with those wrestlers. Man, they get out, they go to side mount, ground and pound. I mean, they're all over the place. And they have a really good base from the top. Very hard to get him off. Are you a little disappointed that Mutopcic was able, or unfortunately yielded up the takedown that early in the fight, knowing exactly what Taylor was going to try to do? You know, you, you kind of have to expect it coming the whole time, but you never expect right away right. from the get-go that somebody shoots, you know, and that's why Taylor did it, you know. Throw him off the game. He's already bleeding, throwing a few elbows. Uh, those dirty elbows are vicious. The yep. king right now is uh, feeling the full wrath of Jesse Taylor as he steps over. Trying to get somewhat of a modified side there, control. Giving Mutopchitz credit, though, he is staying active. He's not, you know, not a sitting duck right now. Hey, Taylor's having to work for everything, go. but you wonder how much this is taken out of both men if, in fact, we see a second round and we are 90 seconds away from that. You know, Taylor is doing exactly what Team Quest guys do. Oh, 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 oh. this could be trouble. This could be trouble. It's deep. It's really deep. Oh, he let it go. It was all the way under. Wow. You see, this. now let's see what's going to happen because now he's on his back. I bet you in trading he puts everybody on his back. So then when he, the situation reverses. Yeah, he's just trying to stretch him out now. And I wonder how much of that is a little bit of sweat and blood on the, on the head of Mutopcic was able to allow him to pop his head out. Look at the wow. beautiful the back and now he slick he did that. You know, that's what I'm saying. He's, he's a phenomenal uh, grappler. But this he should not have allowed. He felt the first time when Taylor tried to roll into him, he felt that coming, he made, moved with him. But Taylor just was persistent. So he closes the guard, does Matopchich, and now he finds himself on his back. Jesse Taylor on top, working the elbows, the punches. Matopchich has control of that left arm of Taylor. And then he releases it to go for elbows of his own. 
Well, he's worn now. It looks like he's going to survive round number one. And if he does, in round number two, he will be on his toes for that takedown defense. And again, Taylor is a really good wrestler. Final 10 seconds of round number one in the middleweight division. Elvis Mutopcic and Jesse Taylor will see a second round when we return to Vancouver, British Columbia. Our girl on the right welcoming in two friends from the north. Glad to have them with us here in the PE Agrodome in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Blowing kisses. Second round underway here in the middleweight division. Elvis Mutopcic in the green trunks. Jesse Taylor in the black and gray. And I think, boss, pretty clear that Taylor won that one. And look at this, goes right back to work. And this time, Mutopcic does a great job of scrawling. And Taylor may have bit off a little more than he could chew on this one. Should have gotten away to the side. He should have kept Taylor in front of him. Can he get back up? No, he cannot. Well, it's uh, leather rinse repeat, right? That's all I'm going to see now. Boy, Taylor stays awfully active in here. And, you know, a situation where a lot of the officials will stand you up if there's nothing, but there's, there's no, no instance here where I think Taylor's going to be in danger of having him stand this fight up. No, he's looking for that guillotine again now. There we go. Constantly working, cranking down on the neck now from the guillotine position on Elvis Mutopcic. Mutopcic uh, got caught. He can't get out of oh, there because stuck. he caught it with his leg. Now he needs to arch backwards, but he has to watch out. The Mutopcic head doesn't pop underneath his armpit. So he needs to crank his shoulders a little ways out. It's see? Out. That was the danger here. It was close. Side control now for Jesse Taylor. This is very smart, start throwing knees right away to the body. He should keep doing that. You know, Mutopcic is probably just one positive position away from getting himself a, a possible submission on Taylor, but at this point, he just has not gotten a break. Taylor is just throwing a hurricane at him. That's it. You know, and I said it in the opening with the, the breakdown, the keys to victory, get him in the guard. You already saw he's working now. Now he's got him in a half guard, but preferably you want to have him in the guard because then you can really wrap him up put them close to you so the strikes can't travel. If the strike can't travel, there's no power in the strike. Jesse Taylor doing a great job of ground and pound in this one in the second round of the middleweight bout between Mutopchitz, the king, and JT Money, Jesse Taylor. Uh-oh, figure four coming here from Taylor, right? Popped out with Jesse. Mutopchitz. Well, if he doesn't get the submission he's looking for, Taylor goes right back, a couple dirty elbows, gets in close, a couple knees, and then he goes right back to working on the neck or an arm. That's the fun part if you've got a lot of stamina. You can keep working, keep working. Drive your opponent crazy. Now, with butterfly guards, we might see him trying to go for a reversal. Stretch his legs, he needs to pull him on top of him first. You see, Taylor knew that. <laughs> Preferably with now, there's a lot of weight on the legs. It's very hard to reverse him, but if he pulls him up like this, or even better with a bear hug underneath the arms, shift his, the weight from his opponents over him and then you can really extend your legs and throw him over to the side. I bet you can even throw him over you. Well, not because he can post his arm. Right. But you could if you wouldn't post that. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of weight to throw over and this time John Cooper says enough is enough. The pace slowing considerably here and understandably so in the second round as we go under two minutes. Now Mutapcic knows that he needs to go now. And this is him. This is all of him. He needs to be on top. He starts work. Dar's choke coming up. You see if he can lock that behind his biceps. He's closing it now. No. Coming up on 90 seconds to go here in round number two. This one's scheduled for three. It's exactly similar like round number one. It was 90 seconds also when you reverse the table. Climbs a full mound now. He needs to start working. He's got to watch oh, out. Wow. Oh, that. side choke. Nope. Ah, he gave up position before submission. He saw the submission and thought, you know, never mind. Roll me over. I got it. Just he never how did that. strong is Jesse Taylor and his core. I mean, able to do that, that was impressive. Yeah, every guy that wrestled a lot, they, they just simply have a really strong core, these guys. Hips, core, it's all strong. Under a minute to go now as Jesse Taylor now finds himself in a more dominant position. Close guard from Elvis Mutopcic. 
But the elbows continue to rain down from Taylor. Yep, he keeps working. And this is going to be hard. Matapcic needs to win the third round if this goes to a third round, because otherwise that's it. He needs to finish. Because the first two rounds are in the back for Taylor. Well, of the 13 wins Mutapcic has, six of them have come by way of submission, so he certainly is capable. But Jesse Taylor has certainly taken the fight to him and has been in the dominant position for most of these first two rounds as we go under 20 seconds to go here in round two from Vancouver. And we will have a third and final round in the middleweight division. You're watching the World Series of Fighting 7 from Canada. Even if it's time to go. Okay. Okay. Seconds out. Seconds out. Seconds out. Seconds out. Right now. Back in Vancouver, and Elvis Mutopcic has certainly taken a beating at the hands of Jesse Taylor, or more appropriately, the elbows of Jesse Taylor, as we have reached the third and final round in the middleweight division between these two men. And I'm sure in the corner of Mutopcic, boss, they have told him, do not take this thing to the ground. you got to stand up and score some points. Move to the side. Constant, like he's doing now. Get out, pull out, pull that leg out, and move to the side. Can never go straight backwards. There we go again, move. Okay, that's it. You know, he's got the butterfly guard, he needs the underhooks. And Wizard's not gonna do enough. What he's doing right now, with his arms going underneath, over the arms, over under, so to say, that's called a wizard. Remember, the, people winner, the winner of this bout will face David Branch, who defeated Danilo Villafort. And that will be for the inaugural middleweight championship here at the World Series of Fighting at a date to be determined. But right now, Jesse Taylor looks to be in position for that fight. He's still got to finish off Elvis Mutopcic, but he has just been dominating for the first two rounds. You know, and he's been on a, on a winning streak now, too, right? He found his, uh, his nick, so to say. This is his game. Close the distance, boom, boom, boom. And it's the, you know, like, like I said, Team Quest. That's totally the style yeah. of Team Quest. When you talk about defending something that Taylor does and you know he's going to do, what would you advise a fighter that's facing Jesse Taylor? What's your what's your strategy going into that first round? Go go work with Marlon Moraes. The way he avoided those shots, like move move to the side. He just let him miss. He was like a matador, you know. And that, and, and that example from the last time for the World Series of Fighting Six, I use a lot to a lot of people. I say, watch that fight. That's what I mean. Pump punch and get to the side, but never go straight backwards because. You want to keep him in front of you there. Once they got an angle on you, a great wrestler, they'll be taken back. Marlon Moraes, no question about it. He is quick, he is explosive, and has all kinds of power. We'll see him in future World Series of Fighting bouts. But right now, we've got three minutes to go, just outside of three here in the third and final round of this middleweight bout. Elvis Mutopcic in the green trunks on the bottom and just kind of getting there we go. Jesse Taylor. And does a nice job there to get out of it, but he just looks spent energy-wise. The mouth is open, he is just hanging on for dear life, and another and big takedown from Taylor. And his side mount, this is not a good position. Those knees that he's thrown from the yeah. side, he threw one in round number two, he should just keep throwing those. I mean, if an opponent is tired, he needs to breathe, and once you breathe in, it's very hard to flex. Your abs. So it doesn't matter. I always tell my students, you can do 5,000 sit-ups a day. If they nail you, if you get a body shot while you're breathing in, you will go down. You know. So uh, in the third round, heel hook coming up. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at now pull it out. And now, Rutap Chiefs gets on top. A little more than two minutes to go. And he lost it. He's back on his back. Under two minutes to go, Mutopcic just, he almost needs a miracle here, boss. He's going to need something. Taylor's going to have to make a mistake and, and just give him an opening. 
Yeah, but he won't. He will stay close on him. He stays in half guard. He won't go to a guard. Or he wants to go, of course, to a mount or a side mount. He knows where, where, where a submission guy is dangerous. If he wins this, he's on a seven fight winning streak there. Pick up his 27th professional victory in a seven fight win streak, 27 and 9, which would set him up with David Branch for the inaugural middleweight championship belt in the World Series of Fighting. And from the get go, you've got to give credit to Jesse Taylor because Elvis Mutopchich is a good fighter. He really is. And he took it right to him literally from the first 10 seconds of this bout. Yep. He really is. And he's good everywhere. Yeah. You know, there you can see again, once you just bring somebody out of his game, that's what he's doing. And Taylor playing it smart as we go under 45 seconds to go in this fight. As you pointed out, boss, he's keeping it close. He's not going to not going to go for anything crazy, not going to get too concerned with submitting right now. Just play it smart and continue to do the ground and pound, which he's done for the two prior rounds. And every time now with the with the butter. Oh, no, it's not in it's, uh, from, from my angle here. I had to, thank God I have a screen here. But with the butterfly guard in, he, all the time he shifted his weight down, and that is so important. Even when Mutapcic went under with a bear hug, he would stretch his arms in front of him and then slid down again. And that's second, all body movement control, simple shifting weight, and that will stop an opponent's attack. Final seconds tick away here in the Peony Agridome in Vancouver, British Columbia. And this one has come to a conclusion. It will go to the judges in the middleweight division. Elvis Mutopchich and Jesse Taylor go the distance. We'll have the official word and we will talk with your winner when we return to Canada. You're watching the World Series of Fighting 7 exclusively on NBCSN. In the early going, Jesse Taylor, the two-time JC All-American wrestler, just put Mutopchits in a bad situation and continued on the ground and pound, bringing flurries with it, fists and elbows. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we will go to the judges' scorecards for your decision. Judge Clayton Welch, Mitchell Cadlick, and Matt McAllister all score this fight 30 to 27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, Jesse JT Money Taylor. So Jesse Taylor gets the victory after three very hard fought rounds in the middleweight division when we return to the PE Agrodome. Boss Rutten talks with Jesse Taylor after this short break. Strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Be timid, that ain't cool. Nah. 